What's up everyone, it's Teja here and welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to download and install JDK, that is Java Developmental Kit on Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 or Windows 10. Now in this video, I'll be using Windows 10, but uh, this works for all the other versions of Windows as well, like the Windows 7 or 8 or 8.1 or 10. So, um, let's get started. First off, you gotta download the Java developmental kit file from the uh, web. You can visit this website to download it. This link will be given in the description below, so go check the description. So over here in this website, you gotta click on download Java platform JDK. So you'll find something like this. You gotta click on the download button. And once you click on the download button, you will be directed to this screen like this and you can scroll down and you will see java sc developmental kit followed by 8u91 and over here you you will have all the different operating systems so you can ch you can select your platform from this so here the last two options are for windows so if you're using the 64-bit version of windows then you can download the into 64 version or if you're using the 32 32 bit of Windows, you can download the Into 86 version of JDK. However, I'm using the 64 bit version, so I'll be downloading this one. And uh, the file size is 187.4 MB. So you just click on the download link, and once you click on the download link, yeah, you, it says that you must accept the license agreement. Yeah, you gotta check mark this option uh, accept license agreement, and once you do that, you will be able to download the file so one just click on the download link and the file should start the download automatically so I'm not going to download it now because I have already kept this file ready for you and uh, here is the file okay once the download is done you just open the downloaded file just click on it and allow the administrative rights to it and here we go this is the installation menu for the JDK so just click on next and once again click on next and you can also change the directory to where you want to actually install Java so here is the default directory to where Java will get installed it will get installed in the program files slash Java slash JDK followed by the version number so you can change it however by clicking, by clicking on the change button so I'm I want to keep the default uh, one default destination so I'll just leave it like that and click on next and here we go it shows some um, progress bar and it's, it's it shows the status over here you just got to be patient and wait for the process to be done and another window pops up on your screen change, asking you to change the destination folder if you want to so this is actually the um, the Java runtime environment which is represented by JRE so I don't want to change the uh, destination folder so I leave it like that and click on next and another window opens up like this it says install installing Java so yeah all that you need to do is just be patient and here we go the process is done and it says the Java um, SC development kit is successfully installed so um, you just got to close this thing you just click on the close button and once you click on the close button you go to the directory where Java is installed um, in my case it is installed in local disk C program files Java and here we go these are the two files which were installed and uh, the first one which says JDK followed by the version number I have mentioned earlier JDK stands for Java Developmental Kit and the second one uh, uh, goes like JRE followed by the version number here JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment so for simplicity you can just rename these files you can just remove the uh, version number from the end so that you won't get confused so just rename them like that just remove the version number uh, that is not necessary so once you do that you can just uh, right click on this PC and select properties 
and you'll see a window like this from this window you got to select advanced system settings so just click on it and a window pops up on your screen like this which says system properties now you got to click on the environment variables and once you do that you will see another window appears on your screen like this and over here under system variables you will find an option which says path so just double click on that and you will see another window open, open up on the screen like this over here you got to say edit text well before that you just got to go to the this thing this folder where the java is installed and go to the jdk folder and then open the bin folder inside it um, now you got to copy the destination of this folder so you just got to click over here just click over here and then you can just copy the destination uh, just right click and select copy now go back to this window over here and uh, in there you got to select edit text and at the end of the text you got to type in a semicolon followed by the you know the destination uh, of this JDK bin folder so just paste the destination which we have copied earlier so once you do that uh, once again come back to the Java folder and this time open the JRE the Java runtime environment folder and once again open the binary folder and just copy the destination of this folder here you just uh, click over here and then right click and select copy now I've come back to this uh, edit system variables window and once again type in a semicolon here and paste the uh, destination of the um, you know the Java runtime environment binary folder and once you paste the uh, destinations of these two binary folders then you just got to click on OK and then once again select OK and then once again click on OK and yes now the Java is successfully installed on your computer and to test it you can just go open your CMD by typing in CMD in the start menu and open the command prompt over here just type in Java C which is the Java compiler and hit enter um, and as you could see this results uh, something like this so if you see something like this then it means that Java is now successfully installed on your computer and it's up and running on your computer and now you are able to run any program that runs on Java or that requires Java to be installed on your computer so this is how to install Java JDK on your uh, Windows PC easily now Thanks for watching the video. If you really like the video, then give a thumbs up below. Hit the subscribe button for more videos. Like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash techraj156. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash techraj156. Visit my website at techraj156.com. Thanks for watching. Cheers.